hi guys welcome back to my channel this is carla um this is my second video for vlogmas um yay i'm getting somewhere with this um today since it's the season of giving and giving i'm gonna be giving you guys some advice um it's probably gonna be really helpful just because this is gonna happen a lot or maybe it won't but I hope it helps if it does happen to you which i hope it doesn't happen to you because it sucks but if it does this video should help um today i'm helping you <laughs> today i'll be letting you guys know how to fight a ticket and always win it i got a ticket back in may it sucked it was my birthday <laughs> the officer didn't care i was crying because of something that was going on already and he didn't care he saw my eyes all puffy and like my mascara running because i was crying and he didn't care so crying sometimes doesn't get you out of the ticket um so i got my ticket and this freaking officer said here you go um happy birthday no more speeding <laughs> which is so fucked up because it was he was basically making fun of me and that was not okay but i go on i start stressing and stressing and stressing oh am i gonna pay this 400 dollars ticket i wasn't even speeding i probably was but i didn't even pay attention my mom's gonna kick my butt my dad's gonna take away the car i was losing my mind right but luckily again it was my birthday so my parents were like okay with it they felt bad for me and they were like oh damn you gotta take it so well you know but i wasn't gonna live with the ticket i said no ticket on my record no paying extra insurance money oh no no going to court no paying like three my ticket was like almost like 300 and something no 350 for my stupid ticket and no 700 insurance just because i got a stupid speeding ticket so i fought it this is the way to fight a ticket and win it. Don't go to court and start arguing with the cop back and forth, back and forth. Because officers do get paid if you if you go to court and they go to go if, if, if you go to court and they go to court, they do get paid an extra three hundred dollars, I believe. I'm not too sure, but they get paid for going to court. So it's an incentive for them to go to court and buy the ticket with you and your word against the officers he's gonna win so i didn't want to go through that because i didn't want to go to the court at all and i didn't want to risk losing my ticket so what i did was um file for trial by written declaration I will put the name right here at the bottom because I want you guys to get it right. I might be mispronouncing it. Again, English is not my first language, so sorry. And my Spanish is messed up too, so I have no excuse. Um, but yeah, that basically how that works is oh uh, when you get your ticket, right? You're gonna wait for a letter in the mail. Um I don't okay, this was like back in May. I'm trying to remember what happened. Like all the steps. So I got my letter in the mail and like in June. So the letter comes like a month after, I wanna say. They give you up to like three months to go to the court. So the letter comes a month after or like a couple weeks after you get your ticket. And it's telling you how much it is for the ticket, um, how you could fight it and how you could pay for it. I think, yeah, yeah so what i did i was googling like crazy um trial by written declaration and i found this website with these like lawyers i paid like i want to say 80 bucks and they wrote me a whole statement i just sent like a copy of my ticket and i sent basically my version of what had happened and they wrote me like a 10 page essay defense form paper for me to like mail out to the court so i did that honestly i didn't mind paying the 80 dollars because i chose 
80 over 350 my friend i said 80 350 80 it is so um i did that and then after uh, i got my letter in the mail i had already contacted the lawyers that helped me out and i called the um the courthouse where I was supposed to like show up and I told them I wanted to do a written a trial by written declaration and the lady was so nice she was like is it your first ticket because I was asking so many questions because I was so confused and I didn't know what to do I was like yes it is can you tell she was like yeah so this is how it's gonna work we're gonna send you um, another letter in the mail and you're gonna basically fill it out and then if you have any paperwork you want to send in you're gonna um, send it all together and we're gonna extend your ticket my ticket I believe it was due July I got it made I think it was due July they extended till September so I had until September something to mail out my written my declaration basically so um, I get the letter in the mail I put it all together and I send it out and then you have to wait another i don't know how many months i waited for the courthouse to send you it's basically saying if you're guilty or not guilty remember when i said that cops get paid for going to the courthouse cops do not get paid for writing the declaration Pásale. Um, cops do not get paid for the written declaration it takes their time it takes their energy and it's basically basically up to them if they want to do it they don't benefit from writing this declaration you know basically fighting with you over like a piece of paper so most likely they will not write a response back and if they don't write a response back then basically the um, ticket is dismissed and you win the case you get your money back and ta -da, you won the ticket the ticket never appears on your record your insurance doesn't go up you do have to pay the ticket when you send out the written declaration but you do get your money back so only because i got my money back so no insurance going up you got your money back no ticket on your record so that's great um so yeah that's how i got my first ticket on my birthday on my 19th birthday and i won it um i did that the cop like i said they will not waste your time to write a statement back and fight with you the, that's how i won it because a cop never wrote a statement back he failed to write his statement so the um courthouse dismissed the ticket and the tickets doesn't exist i never got a ticket so yeah guys if you guys have a get a speeding ticket this christmas season because you're going last minute to go get christmas presents or last minute because you're running late to your parents house because you're late to the dinner or late to your girlfriend's dinner for christmas you know you're speeding your way through traffic because you're super late and it's christmas eve and you're not gonna make it in time to open the regalos at midnight this ticket this video will help you definitely it will help you so yeah i hope you guys found that very very helpful yeah that's how i want my ticket it's not that hard honestly like i said you do have to pay the 80 dollars for the lawyers to write that but it's optional you don't always have to send a like whole statement but i just wanted to be more professional you know and i sent like a 10 page essay saying why i'm innocent and i won so yeah, um, hope you guys like this video and I hope you found this helpful and I hope you don't get a ticket. And if you do, please use trial by written declaration to help you win this ticket. And I hope it works for you guys. Fortunately, it did work for me. And fortunately, I did get my ticket dismissed and hopefully it works for you guys. Um, but this does not mean be speeding your way through life because you're putting other people's lives in danger and i do not advise that again i don't think i was speeding that's why i bought the ticket but you know it happens accidents do happen and sometimes you are running late but don't 
take your time because again someone else's life could be at risk and you could save someone's life that day but if you guys will get a speeding, speeding ticket i hope this helps bye guys